What is a variable? How can we define a variable and what is it good for in Python? A variable is nothing more than just a reserved location in your computer's memory in which you can store information, values to be more precise. You can store different types of data into, into a variable. You can store a string, a number, or any other da data type. Now, unlike other program programming languages, in Python you don't have to explicitly declare a variable. Instead, the declaration is done automatically when you assign a value to that variable, no matter what type of data you decide to assign to that memory location. Furthermore, you can access the value stored in that variable and modify it. Now, let's think of how you should name a variable in Python. Well, there are several rules to consider and follow for a clean and compliant code. First, a variable name should always start with a letter, usually lowercase, and never start with a number or any other symbol. There is one exception to this rule. Some names start with underscore or double underscore. In Python. But these are Python specific structures, so let's leave them to Python. The variable name may contain lowercase or uppercase letters, numbers, and the underscore sign, but, as I said, not in the first letter. Also, do not include spaces or other characters inside variable names, no dollar signs, no commas, no parentheses. And remember, Python names are case sensitive, so a variable named my underscore var is not the same variable as my underscore var with a with an uppercase v. Another thing about variable names is that you should keep a reasonable reasonable name length so it is easier for you to remember and refer to inside your code. The last thing I should mention on this topic is that there are some Python reserved names which you cannot use as a variable name. I have included a list of those Python keywords. You should read it anytime you're in doubt. Now, let's see how can we assign a value to a variable. Well, the rule is to use the equal sign. Let's go into the Python interpreter shell. Okay, the equal sign should be regarded as an assignment operator rather than, a, than, than the usual equal sign used, used in math. In the left side of the equal sign, you type the variable name. So, let's type my var. And in the right side, you type the value you want to assign to that variable. So, equals and the value of 10. It doesn't matter if you leave a space between each side and the equal sign. I would advise you to leave a space on each side though for better readability. Okay, so let's see my var, it has the value 10. Okay. You are also able to do multiple assignments, so you can assign a value to multiple variables in the same time. The syntax for that would be, let's use variables a, b, and c, a equals b equals c equals 20. Okay, so now let's see each variable, a is 20, b is 20, and c is 20. Okay. Or you can assign a different value for each variable within the same line of code, like this. Let's use the same a, b, and c variables. a, b, and c separated by a comma equals 1, 2, and 3. The values should be also separated by commas. Okay, now let's check a is 1, b is 2, and c is 3. Okay, I think that's really cool and may come in handy someday. Now, let's have a brief look at how Python does variable assignment. For this, we are going to use the id built-in function in Python, which gives us the identity, the location id of a variable in memory. Okay, so let's assign the value 10 to variable a, a equals 10. Now let's use id to see what is the address or identity of the value 10 in memory. So id of 10, it gives you a 
big number don't worry about it you don't have to memorize that number this is just the, the location the location of 10 in memory in the computer's memory okay let's do the same thing on a so id of sorry of a you can see that the value is the same that's because a is pointing to the location in memory in which 10 is stored because we assigned it that way now let's create variable b which points to variable a so b equals a and now let's use id of b to see its location so id of b okay surprise surprise we got the same value as above this is because b is also pointing to the location in, in memory where where 10 is stored think of this like putting two labels on the same recipient the content of the recipient is the same but it can be referred in two ways depending on which label you read okay now let's change let's change the value of b to 20 so b equals 20 and check its id again so id of b sorry we have b okay as you can see b's id is now different than before because b is now pointing to the location in memory in which 20 the value 20 is stored but the id of a is still the same although we did uh, b equals to a above okay so let's see id of a oh sorry id of a okay so a has the same location in memory the same address because it is still pointing to the 10 value okay since we are interested in the in the practical use of python in our networks i will not get into any more details regarding memory assignment or other deep concepts instead i would prefer to talk about which data types we will encounter in python in the next lecture